My name is Utpal Banerjee. I'm a professor at University of California, Los Angeles. Uh, I have um, lived in Los Angeles for 40 years now, and I teach uh, molecular biology, genetics, uh, etc. There. Um, when when you want to go from uh, a single cell, and then you want to become a multicellular organism. Um, there are many ways to achieve that. Uh, one way is for the cell to have an internal resource such as its own metabolic capacity, its ability to make its own energy, to make its own lipids and amino acids and so on and so forth that is internal to it. And, and, and the cell divides or dies or, or differentiates according to a certain plan that is built in, which is a metabolic plan into the cell. The other way, uh, which is extremely important because you can imagine that we have trillions of neurons in our brain and each cannot make its own decision in order to, uh, in order to get connected up properly. In those cases, the cell relies on cell-cell interaction. In other words, wherever the cell finds itself, it takes on a certain fate, it takes on a certain, uh, makes a decision for what it is going to become. So if a cell were to die, its neighboring cell, which now gets that same information, could go ahead and take on that fate. This process is called signal transduction because you're going a, a signal is then being sent to another cell and uh, this is um, this is the other way and what I work on is the intersection of these two so whether or not the internal metabolic clock and the signals that it receives from outside how they interact with each other because when you mess up this balance between the two that's where you have problems like cancer for example um, in order for a cell to become a cancer cell, it's not enough for it to just be able to divide a lot. Uh, obviously, it has to have that potential to divide. But if it tries to divide without making enough lipids or without making enough amino acids, it'll die. And so the cancers are very smart. They have overcome all of this. They try to promote cell division. They try to block cell death and they try to change the metabolism of the cell itself that suits their purpose. So that's in a nutshell what we do without going into the details of the systems that we use. We use both mouse embryos and how the mouse embryo develops and we use for genetic purposes the fruit fly drosophila where a lot of genetic analysis has been done. For me, um, I got inspired to uh, do science when I was a when I was definitely um, earlier than high school uh, and uh, I was um, in a in a school uh, high school in in New Delhi called Raisina and um, whenever the I would be waiting for the bus to um, come pick us up uh, there were these big window cells um, next to the chemistry laboratory and why I would, I was probably in the seventh grade or so, I would sit on those cells and watch what these kids were doing inside. And uh, they would be adding a drop of a colorless liquid to another colorless liquid and suddenly it'll turn pink. Now, since you are a high school student, uh, you know why it turns pink or fuchsia when you do this kind of a phenolphthalein experiment. This is something that is uh, very well understood now. However, just imagine if you were someone, uh, there is no internet, there is no easy access to any book that will immediately tell you. Uh, no one uh, in my family was ever a scientist. 
So you just, you know that you can mix colors and get other colors or even white. But to mix two white things or, or, or colorless things and getting color out of it is, is, is then a, a, a magic and, and you sit there and you keep, keep thinking about it and you come up with all kinds of ideas which are all wrong because you don't have the background. But what it does is it, it, uh, it um, starts you off on a journey and where you want to ask those questions. So if I have anything to say to a, to a high school student, um, it's got nothing to do with what you do, whether you are going to be a historian or an artist or a physicist or a chemist, but <clears throat> it has to be beyond the basic um, learning process. It has to have a, 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 a process that actually allows you to uh, to analyze and to think and to come up with new ideas of your own. And once you start doing it, you'll see that there is no other alternative. I mean, um, this is a, this is an excellent profession. Uh, India is in a very nice trajectory right now for uh, basic sciences to flourish. Uh, so and and other fields, and so you know. Uh, I kind of dove into it with uh, with a lot of ignorance, but ignorance-based science is as important uh, as important as as hypothesis-driven science. Let's say.